Quick message. God refine us. How do God refine us? Well, you see the evil one, him always set a lot of trap for us, a lot of trap for us, and we always fall for it. Some of us fall for it. Right? Yes. You know, most of the time. So the evil one set the trap, right? And God use it as a stepping stone to refine us, beloved. Right? Yes, you know, when we go through some rough patches in our life, when we go through struggle, when we go through pain, when people attack us left, right, and center, when our own, you know, turn their back on us, betray us, you know, when our own lie on us, when our own mock us, right? Yes, the enemy using them, right? And therefore, they are attacking you as an individual. And when this happened, beloved, right, it is a form of, you know, refinement, because you are experiencing what they are doing to you because of the evil one. And so God step in and God use that as a stepping stone to refine you, beloved son of God, beloved daughter of God. Right? Yes, because you see some of us when we live in sin, right? Yes, because in order for us to see the light, some of us go to a sinful life, a sinful way of living. For example, like me, I went through a really rugged road moment rough patches in my life, left, right, and center, right? A sinful way of living, right? And that, you know, helped me to be strong, you know, to be wiser, right? Yes, so therefore, beloved, you know, when we go through some really terrible situation in our lives, it it's a sort of way of refining us, refining our hearts. Because you have some people out there, them go through some really terrible thing, right yes and you know in order for us to to change some people have to go through some things in a life yeah people have to go through some things in a life in order for them to change in order for their hearts to change in order for them as an individual to change and i can tell you this is a testimony that i went through a really rough patches in my life a really terrible terrain muddy road right yes terrible terrain in my life right yes and therefore, it helped me a lot, beloved. It helped me a lot, right? Yes, I learned from it, beloved, right? Yes, and therefore, beloved, I, you know, I appreciate those rough patches because it make me stronger, beloved. It make me wiser. It make me more aware, more alert, right? Yes, you know, nobody's going to be perfect, right? Yes, so, therefore, beloved, you know, God refined us by the things we go through, by the evil one put obstacles in our way, challenges in our way, by the evil one set people against us, right? Yes, it refined us, it refined our heart, it refined us as a person. For example, you know, like when, you know, the diamond cutter, the diamond cutter cut the diamond, right? Yes, and they put the diamond under extreme pressure. And when that diamond is under extreme pressure, the more pressure the diamond under, the, the more beautiful that diamond look, right? Yes, the more shiny that diamond look, right? Yes, it's the same way with enough of us. Use what we right now. It's the same way with a lot of people, right? Them go through some things in our life. And, right, yes, and it, it helped them at the end of the day, right? Yes, it helped them at the end of the day because, you know, God looked beyond, you know, their sinful way, right? God looked beyond how they were living, right? God looked beyond all the things that they have gone through, right? Yes, and, and, and turned their situation for the betterment, turned their life right over, Right, yes, change their, their outlook on life. Right, yes, so use what me right now. Let me tell you, God refined us by the things we go through on a daily basis. Right, the pain, the struggle, the setbacks, the betrayal. Right, people lying on us, people deceiving us, people rejecting us. Right, people ostracizing us, people mocking us, people laughing at us. Right, yes, our own turn their back on us. Right, our own right team up with other people and betray us right yes so therefore you know that was the act of the evil one but god refined us god changed our 
perspective. God change our life, right? God, you know, do a wonderful thing in our life, right? Yes, so in order for a lot of people to change them, I forgot to some rugged and road moment, some terrible terrain, some extreme pressure, right? Some fiery situation, some fiery flame situation, right? Yes, for them to change, for their hearts to be changed, right? For example, again, right? Yes, when God, you know, saw the earth, it was pitch black, right? There was no light. There was nothing, right? Yes, and then God, you know, saw that, listen, I can turn this darkness into light. And he did so. Just like when you're there warm and it's night and you turn on the light, <laughs> well, there's no darkness anymore, right? There's no darkness inside the house because you turn on the light. It's the same way. God refined us to what the evil one set traps in our way, right? Yes, beloved. You know, when we go through some really terrible things in our life, you know, a lot of the times it helps us to change, to be better. Right? Yes, it, it helps our hearts to change. Especially when people, I hear some people, they say, boy, I can't love again because somebody break my heart and all of these things. And, you know, sometimes we have to go through some extreme pressure, like I said, with the diamond. Right? Yes, man. <laughs> all right? Because God mean us good, but the evil one is the one who set the trap in our way. Right? Cause us to, you know, end up in a sinful way of living and sometimes ourselves as a person too. Right? Yes. Right? Yeah, man. We take that journey, you know, on our own, but God still step in and turn it around for our ultimate good. Right, beloved? Yes. So if you're a person watching right now, you're going through some extreme fiery situation, some extreme pressure, right? Hang in there. You're not alone, never alone. I have a scripture I want to share with you, Exodus 3 verse 2. And it says, Then Jehovah angel appeared to him in a flame of fire in the midst of a thorn bush, as he keep looking, he saw that the thorn bush was on fire, and yet the thorn bush was not consumed. What the scripture is saying to us in Exodus 3 verse 2, it is saying to us that, you see, Moses, Moses was in the wilderness, guys, right? And when Moses came out of the wilderness, he went, went up to Mount Sinai, right? Yes, and when he went up to Mount Sinai, God appeared to him in a thorn bush, and the thorn bush was on fire, so I can um, can you imagine, beloved, who's watching me right now? You see a thorn bush on fire, right, and the thorn bush not burning on at all. You know how he had must have felt scared, right, afraid, right? Yes, but then you know God said to him, you know, Moses, you know where you at is 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 a holy place. So take off your shoes, right? But the fact of the matter is, you know, there was a thorn bush there that was on fire. And that thorn bush was not consumed by the fire, right? Yes, same way a lot of us are going through some fiery situation, right? Yes, like the thorn bush, but we are not consumed because God is with us. God is there with us through it all, right? Yes, so therefore, beloved, even though you're going through some rough patches right now, beloved, some pressure of life, some extreme pressure, some, you know, rugged road moment, right? Yes, even though... You know, your situation is is on fire, right? Yes, beloved. It is not going to consume you. Just like the thorn bush, it's not going to consume you, beloved, because God is sparing you. God is with you. He's not letting you go, beloved, right? He's holding on to you, right? Yes, so therefore, beloved, just trust God with your journey of life. Every day, just wake up with this attitude that you're trusting God. No matter what the situation look like, beloved, no matter how, you know, pressured you are you are not alone beloved right yes because guess what you know god is refining you right yes he is you know beautifying you as an individual right yes turning your situation around for the ultimate good changing your heart changing your whole perspective on life your whole outlook on life beloved right yes so don't take it personal beloved the extreme pressure that you're under right now right yes i pray have a blessed day and may the good light guide and protect you read that scripture for yourself exodus 3 verse 2 i pray have a blessed day one love thank you <laughs> right yes guys let me tell you god is refining you beloved yes you watch me right now god is refining you so whatever the the evil one meant 
evil towards you, God is going to use that as a stepping stone to change your life, to change your whole outlook on life, right? Yes, to change you as an individual. So just take it easy. One love. Thank you.